every night is the same. I wake up and there's none. shit hall only come back to another things have changed the hundreds of Irish men who died here I remember more than tens of thousands of us who died out there on the western front we left as heroes and returned as traitors anywhere I go people can see the scars deep within me they know to look at me and have experienced the endless shelling and the stench of death. Give a young man a rifle in one hand, a woman in the other. I think he's God's gift to the world. We knew from the moment we stepped off the gangplank that the Ireland we once knew was gone. Those of us were glad to see home quickly learned that we're foreigners in the eyes of the people. No matter where I go, children mock me in the street, and one will refuse to look at me. Disowned by the people who once loved and cared for me. Nothing. Not even the most brutal fighting could prepare us for the rejection we're about to face. Every time I close my eyes, I find myself standing in the middle of no man's land. To the place where dreams were lost and death was a man's best friend. But despite all the darkness and horror, came a place where it didn't matter whether you were Catholic or Protestant, nationalist or unionist. Here every Irishman was as equal as the next. We were scared. We were experiencing hell firsthand. We were united, more than anyone will ever know. We fought with honor, with pride. But what good are those things if you know you've no country to go back to? No people to embrace and honor you for your actions. Everywhere around me is the site of destruction and misery. There's silence, not a shell to be heard or a bullet to be felt. And every time I'm there, he's there. My first kill, no more than a child. Out of all the men I've killed, his face haunts me the most. The face of youth and innocence. I can remember every moment of how I killed him. I can still hear his muffled screams under my arm. And the sound of the knife piercing through his flesh. did I destroy because of his death? Who was the mother who wept at the sight of the telegram coming through the door? Who was the father who needed help with the farm or the store? So many people. So much guilt. I lost every form of decency over there in the trenches. I was 
here now, it's just an empty shell. Whatever I had before, I left behind the trench to rot with everyone else. And so I sit here, waiting for my people to take me back. What's the price we'll have to pay to be accepted again? What's the price I have to pay to be remembered?